Let's go. Kirkland. I already noticed there's a dent on mine. There's already a dent. Kirkland Irons. All right. I am excited to do an unboxing and just get a first reaction of just what they look like, just the quality and all of that. So together we'll open this up together. And one thing to note, uh, I am a little bit under the weather. And so just like rest of the world, everyone's fighting a flu during the season. I'm actually just gotten over it, but um, that ain't gonna stop me from opening these bad boys up. So, all right. <clears throat> It's been a long time. We've been waiting for these. We've been hearing about these for the past year or so, and they're finally here, a first-hand look. So uh, let's go. All right, let's just get into it. I wanna be able to uh, share, you know, with the community what these look like. Let's open these up here. Boom! Kirkland. Kirkland seven piece iron set, ensemble. All right. You got basically the logo, seven piece set, iron set, player's iron, that's right. These are player's irons, and so they are not game improvement, which I think is awesome. I think that's really cool. Uh, Kirkland is, you know, I know there are some people who are out, are out there who are like thinking like, well, these should be really game improvement. But I mean, that's why they sell the Callaway Edge. If you wanna get something on there, go, you know, if you wanna get game improvements um, set of clubs, go get the, the Callaway Edge. I love that Kirkland is um, trying to make a state, a bold statement with their clubs. Anyways, so we got players, <clears throat> right here, players, iron set, right-handed. Um, Let's just open it, all right? And there's seven of them, so as soon as we open them. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they are forged, or are they? All right, here we go. Look, at, as soon as you open them, boom. Kirkland. The black box continues. I love that they have the lamp and uh, the grips on there. All right, guys, can you see it? All right, I'm gonna be the one to take these off first. Let's go. Wow, okay, these are forged. It says that they are forged on here. Yeah, these guys got some bling on them. And then here's a side profile. Got the weight on the bottom here. Oh, what? I, okay, so I'm noticing. I already noticed there's a dent on mine. There's already a dent. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can get close up on that. It's like, a dent right by the S. Let's see. You know, I haven't even swung these, but anyways. So yeah, you got the Elevate. This is a stiff flex, so Elevate 115. This off. Boom. The grips, the, the grips are just regular size grips, the lambkins. Crossline 360. The weight of this, I, I really like the weight so far of it. I honestly thought the, here, I thought the top line would be a little bit thinner than. For the most part, you could see the, the whole head is pretty like shiny, but then in the middle, um, it's kind of brushed a little bit, or like a matte. So I like that kind of like detail of making it kind of like distinct, not just one shiny head. You get seven clubs uh, from the four iron club 
to the pitching wedge and the four iron is at 20 degrees. Interesting. And then you have your pitching wedge, which is at basically 45 degrees, which is kind of strange because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like from 45 degrees and then if you're gonna play with the Kirkland Signature wedges, the, the, the three piece set basically is a 52 degree to uh, 60 degree. So you have a big gap between 45 and 52. Uh, at least it's, that's what it seems like. I'm, I'm surprised that they gave us a four iron. Um, I'd actually prefer that they had, would have given like a, a gap wedge in between. Um, I don't know, that's kind of strange. I wonder why they, there's like a, a big gap between that. I don't know, I don't know why they would do that, but that's kind of strange, but. Here are my three thoughts on what my reactions were, all right? All right, the first one is seeing them in person, they're pretty, they're pretty sleek. They definitely look like player's irons. The Kirkland Signature logo definitely sticks out. But for me, I don't mind that at all. At all, I kind of like it. If you're gonna rock the Kirkland Signature brand, rock it well. It's might as well just go all out and just show it off to, to to your friends. Be that sandbagger, the guy, the Kirkland Signature player, uh, and win money against your friends using the Kirklands, right? The other thing too, I was actually kind of surprised. Maybe I just maybe I didn't know, I didn't see it on online or anything, but I didn't realize these are forged. And so um, I thought that's, that's pretty cool that they, they made forged irons. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how soft they feel, assuming that they are soft. Okay, the other thing too is these were a little over $500 for a whole set. Um, I can't, I don't wanna, I can't really give my opinion on that. I thought they would be priced a little bit more, but I don't want to get there yet. I want to hit them first. I want to see how good they feel. And then I'll, I'll weigh my opinion for another video. That's it. Your Kirkland Signature seven piece player's iron set. Uh, I was so excited to like see these in person. I can't wait to actually try hitting them, see how they feel, the, the performance on them. Uh, I wonder how forgiving they are. And um, yeah, so I'll create another video for that, but thanks for checking out this unboxing. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And until then, I'll talk to you guys later.